Alright, so once you have installed Flutter SDK on your computer, the next step is to run Flutter Doctor command to see if there are any dependencies that we still need to install to complete the setup. And because we have put Flutter on the path in a previous video lesson, we can now run Flutter command from any directory in a terminal window. And if you do not have Flutter on the path yet, then please watch my previous video lesson in this playlist to learn how to do it. Alright, so in the terminal window, I will run flutter space doctor and hit enter. And let it check if there are still any dependencies that still need to be set up. Alright, so flutter doctor command has finished working. And here's the summary of my environment. Green check marks mean that all is good with this item, but the red ones need my attention. I see that I still need to install flutter and Dart plugins for my Android Studio and my Visual Studio code also need Flutter extension to be installed. And this means that if I'm going to use Android Studio to build Flutter apps, then I will need to open Android Studio and install Flutter and Dart plugins first. And before I can use Visual Studio code for Flutter development, I'll need to open Visual Studio code IDE and install Flutter extension first. All right. So in the following video lesson, I'm going to install Flutter and Dart plugins for my Android Studio.